Yeah, but like it was fully like all like fully all this down in the clouds. Oh, I should have saw that. We're off to a bit of a late start today. We're just taking it easy today. It's uh, 12 o'clock. We're gonna go for a bit of a drive around the air. We're gonna go up Conway Track, which is just there. Now I've only come down, it's very steep, so it might be interesting going up. Let's see how we go. Gonna go up Conway Track and do a bit of a loop uh, into Dargo Town, maybe get a bit of fuel, maybe a bit of food. This afternoon we might go for a drive up Billy Goat's Bluff. It was much nicer at camp last night than up on the side of the mountain at Blue Rag in that storm. Even though that was cool, I didn't sleep very well that night. It was so windy. Last night was good. Conway track was very steep, but it had been recently graded, so compared to when we were there last time, it was much easier. Brady's Creek Road is another very steep track in this area, but unlike most of the others, it doesn't seem to get maintained or graded. So over the years, it's deteriorated and developed quite a few ruts, rock steps, and other challenges. It makes for quite an interesting drive. While going down wasn't too hard, going up this track would definitely be a bit of a challenging drive.
we just stopped at the Dargo shop. They didn't really have much food there, but we got a block of cheese. We're running out of food, actually. Got the Dargo Hotel and pub behind us there. We got fuel. The fuel's not too expensive here. Uh, there's only about, there's about an extra 25 cents a litre. I think about $1.70 a litre. I know we're paying about $1.45 at the moment anyway, so it's no major difference. I don't really know if this is the track or not. Kind of like there's trees across the track that possibly look like they've been purposely fallen there to stop people going this track anymore. But then there's well worn tracks around them. But then it's pretty. I don't know really fit through these rocks to get across the creek and then. I don't know what it's like the other side, but according to my map, I'm on a track. Uh, we're planning on going up the back side of Billy Goes to Bluff and coming down the front, but. I don't even know if it's possible to go this way. Seems like it's sort of not in use anymore, I don't know. get it track seems to come to a dead end you got that bank and there comes to a dead end I just walk through there then it's uh, pretty deep <laughs> I could barely stand so it might have been a bit risky taking the car through anyway but yeah I don't get it I'm right on the scrubby creek uh, track according to my map the VMS but it's not really much of a track it just looks like people have smashed their way through the bush and then it comes to a dead end so I guess we're going back I don't know this is the one I thought I was on here, this scrubby creek. We're just in here somewhere and I thought I was going to come and come to the back way of Billy Goats, but I don't know. Might as well have a swim now that I'm half wet anyway. Before we go back, I'm just going to send the drone up to see if I can make sense of what's going on here. I'm guessing this track has just been uh, closed for use and People sort of try to open it again, but uh, yeah, can't get all the way through. But there's no signs or anything, like they don't tell you it's closed. The track just kind of slowly dwindles away as you're going along. It's a main track and then all of a sudden it just starts getting less and less. That's it over there. The bank has been uh, fully washed away, obviously, in a flood. I saw, I could see the track on the drain going up through there, and then it takes you over there. But there was another one that came up onto it and met it, so I'll go try and find that one, I guess. We'll get out of here.
So it turns out you have to take the Rock of Dre Gibraltar. Gibraltar. I don't know how to say that. Uh, have to take that track down off here and then it brings you down onto the river here. It's not marked on the map. The original Scrubby Creek track, uh, which goes along here, is washed out in this area here, so you can't get through anymore. So you come along here and now we're on the Scrubby Creek track, which takes us up around the back of Billy Goat Bluff. We're making our way up this uh, Scrubby Creek trail at the moment. It's very steep, but it's, uh, it's in good condition, so it's all easy. Just first gear, low range, crawling up pretty much. And now we're making our way back down uh, Dingo Hill Trail, which is very steep again, but also in good condition. Now we're going up Junction Track, no, Junction Spur South Track. These high country hills are just ridiculous. You just keep going up and up and up and up and you just think, how is this possible? When is this ever going to end? It's just non-stop. I don't know how you can go this far up a hill and not, I don't know, reach the top. Crazy. It's uh, six o'clock and we still got to get all the way out over into those mountains there so might be uh, I think we still got a fair drive yet. Looks like we're gonna go back down again now, back down again and then up and along the ridge line. You can't go past uh, this map for the high country. It's the best device I know of. I'm trying to find the front here to show you somewhere. That's it, Victoria, HEMA Victorian high country map. And then I also use the VMS as well, which helps. Uh, but this gives you a really good overview of where you want to be. It's got all the tracks on it, and then you use the VMS to guide you a bit as you're going. There's an old track there where you used to be able to drive up that little mountain there. And look how many logs I've put across it to stop people going. It's just logs up the whole track. We made it up to the Pinnacles Lookout. <laughs> so our car's parked just back down there. It's a 350 meter walk up to the Lookout. It's definitely worth it. Such good views from up there. You can just see everything around you. Billy Goat Bluff, the top of that is just on that ridge over there. So we're gonna have a quick look over there, uh, up here at the Pinnacles. And then we're gonna uh, drive over to Billy Goat Bluff, probably have our dinner up there because it's 7.30 now. So by the time we get over there, it'll be at least eight. And then I'd say we'll be uh, driving back down to camp in the dark. I kind of wish we had our camp stuff with us. It's uh, such a nice afternoon up here. There's hardly any wind. 
It's going to be a good sunset, but we should see that. There's heaps of campsites up the top of all these mountains and ridge lines, like just campsites everywhere around here. There's a group of campers camp back at the uh, Pinnacles campground just over there. Here's all the stuff up here. Cut there, last time I came here, there was a worker there who was camping there. We came here last time we came to the high country. When you went down here you didn't even have your camera and you couldn't film any stuff. That's all right, now I've got my camera. Yeah. The fog's moving in. Oh no, we might lose our view. Now oh, we're gonna get surrounded by fog. The Pinnacles Lookout. Made it to the top. How high is it up here? Time to head to Billy Goat Bluff. I think it's only, oh, it's probably 15 minutes up the road or so. Made it to the top of Billy Goat Bluff. Billy Goat Bluff. <laughs> There's our car down there, parked in the one spot. And check out the view. It's like a perfect poo. And there's the track you have to go down over there. Come down that ridge line down over there. That's our camp, right? Yeah, that's our camp way down the bottom there. And there's the sunset out there happening. Billy Goat's Bluff track is the only track in this area that is marked with the two words very steep but really it's not any more steep than any of the other tracks in this area in fact a lot of the others around here are much steeper now don't get me wrong great drive you get some really good views along the way 100% worth doing 
but it's nothing that you have to be worried about or wondering whether you can get up it. So I really can't see you having problems with any full drive providing that it has low range. Because it is such a popular track, it gets well looked after and they grade it pretty regularly. Both the times we've been there, it's been in good condition. There's no need for big lifts or tyres or anything like that.